what's up your auntie just time with vos tv and you know how we keep it locked down it's your girl mary ini and i'm here with the ever beautiful been a hero there you go <laughs> the one that only been at always anyways. looking beautiful <laughs> i like your lipstick oh I just, oh, I, just, I just said I've been admiring it from a distance. Me. So early, so early to why me this morning. Ah uh ah. -uh. So, go. I came here for violence. Don't mind me, uh -uh. please. Hey, Don't hey, hey, mind. So, so you want to join Nigeria with all the violence that is happening? Uh, almost. It's another level of verbal. Now it's not violence. It's just verbal. Like if people, <laughs> even the Bible said, and the kingdom of God suffered. And violence take it by force. Of course. So my people, you know Nigeria, Omo. Like like she said, violence is everywhere. Like the bus bus the bus bus in this country is like top notch. So yesterday another bus bus went down and it was at the APC for um, the APC presidential campaign kick off in Joss. Exactly. Like babe, I, w I watched the two videos that I was I still cannot I still cannot understand what is happening. I can I cannot make it up. Let, for persons that are not aware, <laughs> but for you that you don't know what is going on. So first of all, we start with Tinubu. We start with Tinubu, and he's can I would I call that a mistake or breaking speech or what? This is what happened yesterday. Like yesterday, of course, a plot to just. APC or Progressives Congress, their kickoff, they went to just so obviously no campaigns, campaigns is everybody vote for me everybody with their bro everywhere. and all those things. So the principal Tidobu actually made a blunder and that is what is that that statement alone is what is controversial right now. He said he said something like you know when you say APC PDP, LP, forever, all those kind of chants. Is it not going to say, God bless APC? <laughs> he said, God bless PD, APC. Exactly. So, <laughs> well, let me know, let me dramatize. He said, God bless PD, APC. <laughs> God bless APC. In fact, the people there they were like, they were like ah. What happened? Like, I, I want this. Baba, what happened? You know what? Let her watch it. Just watch it. <laughs> I hear what. Yeah, I hear how he said it. God bless Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. God bless BD. APC. APC. God bless APC. You just watched the video and my dear, I don't even know what to make up. You know that I don't know that's like a blunder or a slip of tongue. Now the same thing. <laughs> Six and half a dozen. There are things that happen in this country and you be like, ah, ah, ah. Come. Are you sure it's, it's the same is the same Nigeria this did happen? Like are you sure are you sure we are in the same Nigeria? <laughs> and if you want that video very close, like just look at the video. If you watch it well, this when he said hey, uh, God bless P D AP. There was one Yoruba man <laughs> at the back. I am not trying to be tribalistic, but that man was Yoruba. <laughs> you can see, first of all, oh, you Yoruba people, any this expression, ah! <laughs> no matter, they've gone. Like, <laughs> if you should hit the table, bad like this. They don't want to know where <laughs> what the as far as what is Japa, what is Salah, they move, they vamoose. That's how our, the Tinubu said, God bless. And he just said, ah! <laughs> like, he did not hide his shock. Like, <laughs> the highlight for me oh, was when comrade, uh, very comrade, oh, 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 very own comrade. Oh, very comrade. He just kept vigorously shaking his He's like, I will not be moved. Although he knew what happened because the person was so impassive because I, it's obvious that he also was aware of what happened because every other person around him, he, the instant he was like, God bless PD, they started lowering their boom like, ah uh ah. -uh. And everybody, are we at this? Are we still at this campaign? <laughs> yeah, because you know normally with this chance you'll be expecting God bless everything, and they say yeah. yeah. But as you say God yeah. bless, yeah. it's like yeah. they were anticipating AP, so their hands were already in the air. Yeah. And once it's your PD, they had to like come on. Wait, what are, you, are you sure? <laughs> this is. Are we sure we are doing APC campaign or we are doing PDP campaign? Because that was a very, very, very big. Big blunder because it was, a very, big blunder. it was a very big blunder, and they couldn't even hide the whole um surprise from their principal Tinobo and um 
it just swear off and it gave a lot of persons contents to talk about I, I mean even the opposition party some people in the opposition party were quoted as saying that that is a sign of blessing they will always say the <laughs> sign of blessing now they always <laughs> say no <laughs> it is a propaganda seriously because yeah. there are videos also circulating when tinubu was star green while yeah, coming yeah, down green while coming down the stairs I, honestly eh, this is not me being it's, it's not me being partisan or anything but i really really feel tinubu is not like he's not feeling all that fine i don't think any old person like whenever i see old people i'm always moved to help them because i don't once you start once you get to age 70 i feel like your body system starts deteriorating and i feel like in normal public um sectors when you work in a particular office or whatever sector that may be there is something called a retirement age retirement age is always 60 to 70 and it shows that my dear you've worked uh -uh. you work for over 30 try. years you don't try go and enjoy your oh, money yes. go and rest and then when we're seeing old persons i'm not trying to say tinubu has potentials that like, i one thing i will commend him for is him being and a strategist experience and experience thing. i feel on normal conditions age aside and other stuff him he, he has potential yeah, he has potential to be a good candidate but let us bring in the fact that there is the age factor and, and the fact that the age is obviously telling on him and the fact it's that it seems obvious. like he can't remember certain things and his um body movements and body everything movement, everything <sighs> But that was by the way, Sha. That was just one of the highlights that happened. <laughs> and he and can he tell you he's strong. Exactly. He he's and strong. he will tell you, shut up. Anyways, he's used to do it. Politely. That. Politely. That's shut the key word. <laughs> and I think that happened yesterday. That got a lot of persons talking. And even me was that at the rally, persons were seen throwing equipment about placards, just like shouting. So people said they even threw stones. And you know the um, I think I don't know if they call them MC or the person hosting the whole stuff. The guy was just begging them in Yoruba. <laughs> in Hausa, Jare. In Hausa, he was just begging them like, "Ah, oh, you people should calm down, calm down, calm down." But you know, I feel like Nigerians we've gotten to this point where you know when yes, somebody is very very angry and you're trying to tell the person calm down. It's like you're making the person. I've not seen somebody angry. that is very very angry and tell the person calm down. The person and the calm person down. actually calm down. Just watch what happened. or without being watched you can see that they're different they supposed said that they did not pay them their money in full so 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 say yes, they, um, it was because they um you know at political rallies a lot of politicians they share money and all that people like um the politicians money sharing so people didn't get their allocated and all this why some person said um certain things were said at the rally and that propelled and that made them angry and person just got angry and said like scratching everything and stuff like that so people even said it was obedience that infiltrated <laughs> I, I don't know. Not in Nigerians do not say. Why must they always drag obedience? Not in Nigerians do not say. Why must they always drag obedience into the picture? Because in every rally, in Labour Party in rally, you will see the APC. What do they call them? Is it Batians? I don't know what they call themselves. Some people call themselves. Some people say they are called Jagabanists. Okay, you see them at these rallies. Of course, you see they want to see what's going on. If there's some content, parties, exactly. some articulates. You see them at other party um, campaign rallies to see what is going on and all that. And I don't think I don't think this is something that's supposed to cause. And one thing I'll say is, in every rally, if it's if there's this maximum level of coordination, there's an extent to which persons can just go about 
trying to store trying to scatter things trying to do certain things i just feel like i don't feel like but one of the conspiracy theories that these persons were vexed and that's why they just found they just, an avenue yeah, to just like display their anger and another thing happened one thing happened persons were like because of the whole seeming stampede and person just shouting one of their own from the apc slumped a legal state lawmaker yeah he died so some people some people, some people um, that and this is according to some official reports he actually slumped before the whole um chaos ensued so that's what some official reports are saying once some people are like i beg i beg i beg we all know he slumped during the chaos and all that so well, Nigeria and he died Nigeria actually, is, Yeah, he he died. God rest his soul. But Nigeria politics is just, yeah, I think it's just full of so many conspiracies. I think it's too chaotic actually and because for someone to just slum, there are many health reasons why anybody can. Apart from these health reasons, yeah. maybe you've exerted yourself so much to and the extent that your, your body, body is like, I can't take longer. it anymore. Leave me alone, and then the person, the person slumped, and what have. What I just have to say is, right now, what is trending is PDAPC. And, 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 and then let's just quickly add that there was also a footage of um, um, security personnel beating up some people. Exactly. And so people are saying that these people might have been Hold part lost. of the people that were that caused the chaos or tried to sabotage the whole um, rally. I don't know how big, but I feel like you, you, you are watching the video. I just feel like I don't know if there are better measures to just um, better cushion, measures to cushion, like to how do I put it to forestall all this kind damage of damage control, yes. all those things. So I just feel like. Cause they were beating him, hitting him. I was like, you just there should be a van where you where you see people just cut them, throw them inside, inside, lock them up. You need to start releasing tear gas and beating up people. Like I don't know, uh, um, Nigeria. Like like somebody said, somebody said, V the V in Nigeria stands for violence. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so the V in Nigeria stands for violence. In fact, you cannot see it because it is there. But I would just say is regardless of everything that is going on, I just feel like peace is the better approach to certain political well, activities. This especially period. when it comes to politics. Yes, I cannot emphasize this enough. Let us do these things in peace. Let I want people to support who they want to support. And you, what do you guys think? Because I just feel like you are going to these rallies. You are just trying to, you know, you don't support a particular person. Stay at home, or maybe stay you still support these persons and that you are vexed at the rally just kill yourself and go home because one thing or the other it can lead to a bigger and picture lose your life. and you can lose your life so please my people stay safe this election period just stay, stay safe. safe do your bid whatever the, i feel like you don't not because of this whole political um arena or political activities you not try and get enemies or lose you your life in the process and start uh, and lose not just your life you can lose valuable things you can get injured in a very a dangerous way i think guys just you put your mouth in this conversation huh? just tell us what you think with all the footages that we li you literally saw what do you guys think share the apc you know what i'm talking about what are they doing very soon we'll, maybe we'll see something for the another party oh, or another party. we'll see something like that so this is what we've been cooking all this far for you you guys are, are, are like our own persons not like you guys are our own persons and we went ahead to just say you know what our viewers to be brethren you guys have to see this thing anyway that is why if you're not following us across our social media platforms me and you we have to sit down and discuss this thing one or one like what is going, like, what on? Is going on are we why, fighting why is still not following us <laughs> <laughs> so we are viewers TV Niger. Follow us across our social media platforms: YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, of course, Twitter, and we will still engage you guys there. I'm still been here on Ofe, and I'm Mary Amy. Until next time, on this time, stay safe, please. Love you. Bye.